Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an excellent fan. Captain. Guys. Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. And literally so much stuff has been announced tonight. We've been covering it all on our channel. So make sure you guys have checked out all of the stories of everything Marvel has dropped tonight. From all the Disney Plus trailers that came out to all of the movie updates to even updates around the TV shows that are coming to Disney Plus that are going to closely tie into everything else in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. There's a lot to unpack, but we're going to go ahead and dive in on literally everything because we've been covering this so far but let's talk specifically about the Disney Plus series that have recently been announced all of the new shows that are going to be coming out besides the ones that already have trailers and featurettes we've already talked a little bit about Miss Marvel we got a featurette kind of showing behind the scenes on that which will be really interesting to see nonetheless but let's look at the ones that were just announced for the first time tonight that we honestly had no clue about until this announcement so all in all Marvel went ahead and announced five new Disney Plus shows one of them is the secret invasion which was one that fans have been wanting the story to be told for quite some time and speculated this would be a major play in the larger Marvel Cinematic Universe, but it looks like they're going to be doing a dedicated Disney Plus show to the storyline, which should be starring Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury, along with the character Talos from Captain Marvel and Guardians of the Galaxy, also making an appearance too. And it'll go a little bit more in depth to the secret invasion of the scrolls on Earth. So fans are really excited just to have a show dedicated with Nick Fury and what's interesting is it kind of could tie in closely to the post credit scene from Spider-Man Far From Home which showed where Nick Fury really was during that time but we don't know for sure yet if that's what the plan is. Then it looks like there's going to be two shows dedicated to the aftermath of Iron Man both really interesting in tackling their own concepts but essentially the idea is what happens when Iron Man's technology falls into various hands or falls into different hands. In one case there's there's going to be a series called Ironheart that will follow a teenager named Riri Williams who is in Chicago who manages to reverse engineer an Iron Man suit and becomes the protector for her neighborhood. So another younger cast member joining in kind of becoming a hero which is kind of a unique play but in the scope of the Marvel Cinematic Universe with all of those heroes that already exist it's not too crazy to think that some teenagers would want to jump on and be a hero that they've looked up to since they were young. So that's a cool concept and we're excited to see what happens with that TV series. But then on the other side, they're going to kind of follow a timeline and storyline of something that was presented in the first Iron Man movies, but what happens when the Iron Man technology falls into the wrong hands? And it looks like they're going to do a series called Armor Wars, which will be centered around Don Cheadle's War Machine and will likely have other cast members as well involved in this show too. They didn't officially announce anyone to make an appearance for this TV show, but none Nonetheless, it's something really exciting and we're looking forward to see what they choose to do with it. Then we got an announcement of a holiday special for Guardians of the Galaxy and a special Groot themed thing. We'll talk a little bit more on that in a separate video. But lastly, the big thing that is really exciting is some of the decisions that are going to be made in the upcoming She-Hulk television series, which has already a cast associated with it. But the really big thing about She-Hulk is that Mark Ruffalo will be appearing in this television series, which is great just because it's nice to see something that Mark Ruffalo can kind of be a main character in more than just kind of an ancillary character or a side character. It's also going to be going all the way back to the 2008 Incredible Hulk and be bringing the character The Abomination back or the actor who played that character all the way back then back into the MCU. So it's really cool that Marvel's willing to reach all the way back to some older stuff and bring it back to the forefront. We're really excited to see what they end up choosing to do with this in the future. But anyways, what do you think of all these Disney Plus TV show announcements? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this uploaded every single day of the week. That's it for today, though. We'll see you guys all next time with a brand new video. Yeah. I'm about to. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Hi. 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 <laughs> Mm -hmm. like, See you guys. Know